Okay, guys, we are back. And let's see what's going on with this fuckboy right here. <laughs> Big rock fell on you, huh? We're here because we saved your fucking ass, you dipshit. <laughs> yeah, so clearly these were just a bunch of random monsters that we curb stomped. Not exactly trained killers like those devils. Yeah, that tunnel, we gotta look at it before it's blocked off. That's a goddamn shame. There's probably treasure in there. No! <laughs> yeah, I agree. And we're never gonna know. Sucks. And traveling on. And the ship gets taken apart. Look at that, Bowie! They're creating a town instantly! How lucky. Yeah, classic one year has passed. So that girl, Princess Alice, she has gotta be fucking dead. I mean, those devils just had her for a whole fucking year? Damn, there's like five soldiers left, plus our Shining Force. Everybody got killed by Galam. Ha! <laughs> That's a damn shame. Again, no Slade in this cutscene. <clears throat> yeah, King Rosy Cheeks. Oh, come on. We're gonna save the girl, damn it. What's Ashel got to say for us? Trading. Smart, very smart. Ashel always on top of things. That's it? Alright. Okay, so what's crack a lacking? Right, we have both jewels. Here's our team, we're looking pretty good. Interesting that Slade is higher leveled than Kazen now, that's pretty good. And Kiwi is very low leveled, that's not good. That's really not good. But yeah, we have the two jewels. Minister, what's up? You're a damn fool. Alright, so we got an entirely huge town to explore now. Talk late every night. Talking about strategy. Nothing. What's up, bro? Uh, yeah, that's because I'm a fucking beast. Oh, shit. Dark Soul. Uh-oh. Could it be we have not seen the last of Dark Soul? It's possible. Ooh. Cheerful bread. I like that. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna save all these promotion I er, promotion items, uh, power-up items until we're promoted. Although they do take up a fuckload of space. Oh well, we'll be fine. 
Yeah, we already talked to you, right, Cockboy? Yeah, yeah. Well, Grand's Island is fucked by now. Hint book. Alright. Nothing. Oh, fuck out of the way. Yeah, he gives us a clue. Um, in Shining Force 1, if you guys remember, there was a headquarters in every town. But here in Shining Force 2, you've only got one headquarters. And it's right here. In New Grand Seal. Here's Astral. What's up? Alright, he's got nothing for us. Nova was a hell of a lot more useful than you, old man. I ah, fuck you. Alright, so he's got nothing for now. Nothing in these burrows. And as you can see, there's lots of room for people. Lots of uh, additional party members we'll be getting later on. And we've got a nice little training area. Whatever. So here's our team. Man, we really need to get some more people. And we'll go up here. Okay, the Warrior Pride. Now this is something a little different. In Shining Force 1, when you got to level 10, you could promote a character and they'd go to their promoted class. Well, here in Shining Force 2, several characters actually have two promoted classes they can go to um, if you have their promotion item. For example, the Warrior Pride we got right here, that could turn Jaha. Normally, he would be promoted into a gladiator. The same as Gort and Luke from Shining Force 1. But with the warrior with the warrior pride, he can be turned into a baron. Now, a lot of people like the gladiator because the gladiator has a good deal higher defense than the baron does. But the baron gets plus one movement, which is extremely useful. Let's take a look here. Yeah, getting Jahab to 6 move would help a lot. And there's two different characters who could use the Warrior Pride. Of the two, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be giving it to Jaha. But we will see once we get there. Thank you for the great advice. Alright. Alright, you guys are really boring. Sir Howell! Strategy was his cup OT. Very interesting, Kazen. Alright, Kiwi, fuck you. Oh, silent and deadly. Just like his asshole. Alright, we're done in here in the castle and the tactical base, base and all that. Talk to all you fools. Let's go take a look. Nothing. So this is interesting. It's a wooden castle. Every other castle in the game, of course, is going to be nice and, you know, with, like, rocks and bricks and stone and shit like that. Nice little water area. No hidden items over here, though. And there also is nothing hidden over here. Okay. Let's check out the town. Looks like Big Bird came to visit us. Alright, so everyone is just chilling looking at this bird. And looks like he's going to tell the king and minister and shit. While everyone is out of their homes, let's go and take all their shit. Great voyage? Bah. Nothing. Father Carpenter. Where's the books about Dark Dragon? God damn it. 
out to lunch. Yeah, out to lunch staring at the bird. Okay, what do we have here? Angel wing. Very nice. I'll be selling that, of course. Agriculture. Garbage. Nothing over here. This is a dead end. You would think there would be something here. It seems like this would lead to, like, a path into a hidden cave or something, but nope. Not at all. Okay, I'm not ready to go investigate the mob just yet. Soap operas, garbage. Hunter's Life, garbage. Books on Dark Dragon, please. Whatever. Okay, antidote. Again, there's not that many enemies that poison in the game, so we won't be needing that. Okay, let's hop in here. Buy and sell. Trash. Throw something in? Sure. A lot of water. No. Nothing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, so we got some healing seed. That's good. Any healing seeds we can get are very nice. The town is quite small, as you can see. Basically, everyone was murdered by King Galam. And this chest you can only get while the shopkeeper is surrounding that bird. Healing drop. So it's not like it's a super rare item or anything, but it's useful to have. Um, I want Bowie to have a healing drop. So we'll do it like that. Okay, time to go meet this bird. What you got? Old habits die hard. <laughs> it's legendary, huh? Your father was also very curious. Mentioning his father an awful lot. Is this a bird or a god? Ooh. Alright. Oh, look at those six skills. His evasion is crazy. Oh, he's got a feather mantle on. Oh, looks like he's got an escutcheon, too, also. Peter, you're so evasive. <laughs> of course I do. Damn, so harsh. <laughs> the minister shakes the ground with his anger. Yeah, you little dumbasses. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's nice to meet someone who's not trying to fucking touch my goodies over here. so they got nothing new to say. Oh no, now back to work, huh? He belongs to a god. I'm sure that's gonna come up in a little bit. I, I will be disciplined. <laughs> that's, a, that's that Japanese shit, man. Oh, I have shamed my father. And that dude was really grateful at us saving him. And this fucker, you got nothing to say besides, mmm? Yeah, shove that mmm up your ass. How about that? Dick. Yeah, no problem. 
All right, so we gotta go catch this bird, man. A phoenix, oh shit. Ah, Peter the Phoenix. And he serves a god. Volcanon. Luke. Again, another name in all caps. Just pointing that out. <laughs> Damn, Astro. Dick riding him a little too hard here. Uh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I've been standing right here, Ashel. God damn it. Yeah, so basically, without Sir Astral's big dick status, they wouldn't be able to survive. Poor Astral can't go anywhere. Oh, man, fuck you, what, man, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn, Astro's so butthurt. It's <laughs> in the east, very far away. Okay, so Peter comes with us. I'll, I'll explain Peter's role in a second here. Oh yeah, the minister's gonna bring us a huge, generous gift. A hundred gold coins! Thanks a lot, asshole. That's barely anything. Yeah, because we need an entire army to go fuck these devils up. And it's forcing us to leave. Later. Okay, so now... Our homeboy, Peter, is going to be following Bowie the rest of the game. Very nice. But, even though Peter is on the screen right here, he's level 9. 26 attack and 16 defense. So, Peter is our strongest character already. His defense is also extremely high. And as of right now... Oh man, there's a lot to explain about Peter. Peter is the best character in the game. He is actually even better than Blue from Shining Force 1, if that's even possible. Unpromoted, Peter has um, a status called Floating, which means he basically can fly, like he could go anywhere on the battlefield, but he still gets affected by the land effect bonus and gets the increased defense. Whereas a bird, like the Birdmen, like Balbaroy or Aemon from Shining Force 1, they w did not get uh, land effect bonuses to their defense. That's why those characters are always so squishy and die so easy. Peter, however, unpromoted, he does get land effect uh, bonus to his defense. Once he's promoted, he doesn't uh, get the land effect bonus anymore. He becomes a full-fledged flying movement type. But for now, he has spectacular defense and attack. Uh, but he hasn't officially joined our team yet. So we can't even control Peter. He just does what he wants. And he basically is a guest character from Final Fantasy Tactics. Except he's about 10 times worse than Delita or Algus ever were. So that's very sad. So this is obviously Bowie's house. Interesting that there's only one bed. I wonder where Bowie sleeps. Okay, we do need to pay a visit to the shop. Deals? No, of course not. Let's buy something. Nah. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks, bud. Oh shit, Bowie's pimping! Big pimpin' out here. 
Right, I already investigated this. Oh yeah, Bowie's... He's popular with all the 15-year-old girls. Oh yeah. Okay, we got the priest. Now, fuck your friends. Uh, what you got for me, bro? Hmm, so they're very scared. They probably think we're devils or some shit like that. Buy and sell, whatever. Let's go pay a visit to the weapon shop. I'm sure there's something we'll be able to get. I'm curious, does this guy move in a pattern where you can't get to that barrel? It appears he does. So if you don't investigate that barrel before... Before um, everyone disperses around Peter, then you can't get what's in there as well. Oh, nope, you can. Okay. Oh, that was stupid. I gotta get out of here before he traps me in. Oh, God. <laughs> you can blow up the rocks blocking the North Cave. Okay. Oh, okay, so we need something to use this explosive. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. See, if we didn't get that chest before, we never would have been able to. Deals. Oh, fuck this. I'm never checking deals again. Fuck you. Okay, short sword. That's what Bowie has right now. Middle sword. Great. Uh, raise his attack by three, huh? So let's just give it to Chester for now. Okay, Bronze Lance and a Spear. I bet you this is stronger than the Bronze Lance, which means I could sell... It is, okay. So let's go ahead and sell a bunch of shit right now, actually. Alright, we're not done buying yet, but first we gotta sell. Okay, let's sell Bowie's Short Sword. He doesn't need that. Uh, we also don't need this Angel Wing. Uh, let's get rid of the antidote. I want to make sure Sarah has uh, three medical herbs at all times, too. Okay, Chester doesn't need the short spear or the bronze lance. And it looks like Jaha has a new axe, so we could go ahead and sell this short axe. And from here, we're looking pretty good. Okay. Oh, god damn it. Okay, yep. Uh, give us that hand axe for Jaha. Ooh, 27 attack. I like it. Okay, wooden rod we've got. Or we have short rods for everyone and short knife. So, short knife and short rod. Let's see if they've all got that. Uh, Sarah has a short rod. Kazen has a short rod. And Slade has a short knife. Okay. So, more inventory management. Yay! We need to give this spear to Chester. He has the same attack as Jaha. Okay. 27. And we gotta give the sword to Bowie. Okay, now let's equip all this shit. Bowie gets the sword. Chester gets the spear. I'm actually gonna give the chirrup sandals over to Peter. Just put that shit in his inventory for now. Okay, now I gotta equip the hand axe. Okay, so we're looking all good as far as inventory goes. Let's just get Sarah some... Medical herbs. And I guess I'll go buy one, just to make sure. And the ceiling seed we'll give to Peter. Well, he can't use it for now, so there's no point in doing that. We'll give it to... Uh, shit, Slade, I guess. Oh, goddamn item management. Let's just give Peter this mithril.
Okay, everything is looking pretty good now. Yep. Okay, let's just get one medical herb for Sarah, and I think we're done here. Gotta go talk to whoever's in this house. Couple people. Out my way. We got the priest, but we don't need anything from him. Thanks a lot, homeboy. We're, we're good, though. Alright. One medical herb for Sarah. Thank you very much. Okay, let's just talk to Astral and then we're done. For real, for real this time. What's happening? Last chance to see Volcanon in my lifetime. Then you should have just fucking came. I expect you to find a lot of allies. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find about 30 or so. Okay, so that's it. That's all we've got. Uh, let's go check out the base. Is Peter up here with us? Yep, there he is. Okay, so we got eight people. That's crazy. In Shining Force 1, you had, what, seven in the first battle? And we still have only got eight. That is fucking nuts. That is nucking butts. But okay, we're done in New Grand Seal, finally. I feel like we've been here forever. It's time to go do some fucking battling. Fuck some dumbass monsters up. Okay, so last time, uh, the area where we saved that dude was up here. It's to the right right there. There's nothing up here. I would like to see a world map of this whole world. Because this is a... There's no chapter system here in Shining Force 2. So you're able to freely explore, explore everything. And you can go back to areas you've previously visited. And battle time. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the map real quick. We have a long field to cross, as you guys can see. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. We'll go ahead and do this battle up. Later!